is Dick Irvin in Boston, where the Bruins and the Nordics had quite a hockey game in their series opener, a well-played game, a fast game, a very cleanly played game, and the Bruins came from behind and won it in rather dramatic fashion, with a goal with just 55 seconds left in regulation time. The teams were tied 2-2 at the end of the first period, and it stayed that way through until the 8-10 mark of the third period, and then the Nordics scored. Goulet and Kluche combining, a shot that deflected down and in underneath. Mike Moffat, the rookie goaltender, Kluche's second goal, and the Nordiques had a 3-2 lead. But less than two minutes later, a super individual effort by Steve Casper as he gets by defenseman Dale Hoganson and beats goaltender Dan Bouchard, who again was very hot in goal for the Nordiques. That made it 3-3. It looked as though the teams might go into overtime. They went into the final minute of play, but watch this great move by Ray Bork. Number seven of the Bruins, who steps around a defender and rifles a wrist shot low inside the post. Bouchard partially screened on the play. The Garden went nuts, a capacity crowd, and the Bruins had won the game as they hung on 4-3. to three. They outshot the Nordiques 38-24. to 24. This is Dick Irvin reporting on the Nordiques Bruins series from Boston. The Vancouver Canucks are on a roll. They are now undefeated after 13 straight games, but more importantly, four of those games are playoff games. In the opener of the Conn Smythe Division Final against the Los Angeles Kings, it was the Canucks over the Kings by a score of 3-2. to two. Los Angeles opened the scoring in the first period with a great individual effort from Steve Bozak. Picks up the puck on the boards, cuts in front, and beats Richard Brodeur unassisted. In the second period, the Canucks finally beat the almost unbeatable Mario Lassard. Stan's Neal passes from behind the net, and the big check, Ivan Holinka fires it home. The Kings come right back, 25 seconds later, and take a 2-1 lead. Marcel Dion sets up Larry Murphy, and Murphy uses a hard wrist shot to beat Brodeur. Vancouver tied at two with a power play goal. Doug Hallward passes to Lincoln, and with that incredible wrist shot on the screen in front, he beats Lassard. Vancouver take the lead in the third, when Ron DeLorme does the work in the corner and fires a pass in front to Gary Lupel, who beats Lassard with a quick shot. Vancouver win the opener against the LA Kings, three to two, game two here at the Pacific Coliseum on Friday. Quite a surprise in Long Island last night when a 22-year-old rookie defenseman scored the winning goal for the New York Rangers against the Stanley Cup champion, New York Islanders. Let's look at the highlights, and the Rangers opened the scoring in a hurry. This rush paid off in a goal by Ron Duguay, his fourth of the playoffs. Duguay will set up in front and slide it under a falling Billy Smith. But the Islanders strike back from long range. Langevin scores on the slapper. Then Cam Connor scores for New York, a goal by Bossy. And Nystrom scores from the side of the net, 3-2 at this point. McClanahan gets the tying goal for New York. All of this in the first period of play. Now watch this spectacular goal by Robbie Fatorik in the second period. A fake there, around Smith, it's in, and the Rangers lead 4-3. But oh, you guessed it, John Tonelli and Bob Nystrom are out there. And Tonelli gets the tying goal at 15-44. There it is, tied at four. Looks like overtime, but watch this. Rutzelainen, the 22-year-old, scores from the point. From Fotillo, less than two minutes to play, a wild scramble at the end. But the Rangers hang on to win the hockey game 5-4 to four and take a lead in the series. Now we're in the Checker Dome at St. Louis. Mistake in the St. Louis zone. And Higgins pays off with a Chicago goal, scoring unassisted. Then it's Hutchison from the point to put the Blackhawks in front, 2 to nothing. He's set up by Savard. Into the second period, Klassen scores the first St. Louis goal, and then a goal here by Babich as he bats the high puck down, slides it through, it's tied at two. And the Blues aren't through. Crombeen comes through with a score from Brown, Scheidel, and Patey. And the Blues take a lead, lead it three to two at the end of two periods, but the Hawks open quickly in the third at the 19 second mark. Savard scores from Fox and Feimster. Then at 2.39, Tom Lysiak, the veteran, puts the Hawks in front 4-3. There's his goal. Midway through the period, Bannerman, who was exhausted, gave way to Esposito. Here's a rush now by the Blues, two on one. Little Joey Mullen slips it through. Tied at four with time running out. But one more goal coming up. And Doug Wilson, a strong candidate for the Hart Trophy this year as the NHL's top defenseman, takes a pass here. Drills one past Liut, 5 to 4, Chicago at the 14-44 mark of the third. Chicago wins the opener with St. Louis.